Hello everybody. Just give me a second here to get my comments up. Today it's Tuesday at seven o'clock. So I am doing a live video. Um, I'm going to be doing it with some of the pieces from the On My Mind um, card kit. So this is the one, uh, sorry, the paper pumpkin kit. This is the one that we got um, in July. So it had nine different um, cards in it. And I did a video a while back about how to make those cards. So this time around, I wanted to show you just some different different ways to use the supplies. So what I've done is I've pulled out a few of them. I really like these kind of nautical themed ones. Um, so I'm going to use those in the stamp set, of course. And what I wanted to use was I actually wanted to use this envelope liner because it's got a really cool pattern on it and I hadn't had a chance to play with it very much. So I'm going to actually take my envelope apart and I'm going to use the inside of the envelope as kind of a background paper. So you can see it's got this printed pattern on here. So I'm going to have to cut this envelope to make use of that. It's easiest to line it up that way. There we go. And then I'm just going to use my trimmer there to trim off all the extra bits that I don't need. I want to layer this onto a card. Ooh, my trimmer blades needs replacement. Um, I want to layer this onto a card. So I've got a four inch layer. So I'm going to do just four and a quarter, or sorry, three and three and three quarters so that I have an extra quarter inch space. And then the same thing on this end, I'm going to cut it to five inches. So this is three and a quarter by five, this layer. Oh yeah, this trimmer blade is done. Good thing I have some extras. And I'm just actually gonna clean up the, the edge with a different, different trimmer here. I don't want to do a video showing you guys how to replace your trimmer blades. Though if that's something that you want me to do, I can. But that's not the purpose of today's video. Okay, there we go. That's all cleaned up. Now I'm going to layer this up onto a piece of Knight of Navy cardstock. So you can see that it is going to go onto there. Now this is a little bit thinner than regular designer series paper um, because it's from that envelope. And that's okay. So I'm gonna layer this up, making sure it's got a nice even border all the way around. Oops. Stuck to my finger better than it stuck to the paper. There we go. And then I have this piece that I'm going to do some stamping on. Now, I could just do a layer like that, but that's boring. We want to do something a little bit different, hey? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, and I'm using the You're the Best stamp here. And this is something that happens sometimes with photopolymer. This is the first time I'm using it, and the ink is kind of beating up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to clean this stamp first, and then you'll see that that doesn't happen as much. So I just cleaned it on my stamp and scrub, and then the ink stays on there nicely. So I'm going to stamp in the corner here. So I'm gonna stamp there, and then I'm going to stamp there. So now I have that greeting in the corner of my thingamajig. Alrighty, but wait, there's more. I'm going to layer this onto some gold. So we're going to have this kind of layered onto that gold. And of course, for this, I'm going to use dimensionals because why wouldn't you? And if I can find my snips, there they are. 
I'm actually going to use the corner of the dimensionals as the corner so that it all folds together. So I'm gonna put this in the corner and now I have that handy handy corner dimensional and I'm gonna line it up on my cardstock here. Just a little of the gold peeking through. Now I can see how much I want here. I think I'm going to just trim off the ends here so that I can still see the full greeting. This is where this gets really complicated. Oh, really? Because I want to keep this straightish. So I'm going to line it up kind of on the marks there and there. go and then same thing this way I'm gonna line it up so you see I'm just lining the tips up with that mark and the mark down there and that's gonna be what keeps these lines straight okay there we go and that doesn't quite you know what it actually does fit on my card so if you look at it it just hangs over the end so that's actually perfect I was worried I was gonna have to trim it down a little bit but I don't. I do have to trim this end a little bit though, because I don't need that big triangle hanging off the end. All right, there we go. So this is now the layer that's going to go on like that. So I'm going to start building my card now, I think. A bit easier I think to manage on the actual card base so I've got just a whisper white thick card base here I'm gonna glue the snail this piece that I've layered up onto Then with this piece, this is going to be a little bit more complicated. So this back here needs dimensionals. So I'm going to pull some dimensionals in. And we'll glue this down with dimensionals. And then this here doesn't need dimensionals. And I could use snail, but the other thing I can use too is tear and tape. So I'm going to pull some of that in and that's going to hold it down nice and strong. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my little dog ear trick here, just a bit of a different shape. I'm going to leave the point unstuck. And then we'll just pull those out once I'm happy with where it's positioned. Okay. Hi, Sue. Nice to see you. Okay, that's the top of my card, right? Yeah. Okay. So we're going to line this up up at the top and stick it down along the bottom. And then I'm just going to pull these guys out. Ta-da! All right. But wait, there's more. I'm going to put this little ship's wheel on here. And I'm going to get a little extra fancy. And I'm actually going to layer it with one of the um, embellishments. So this is from the suite in the annual catalog so you can see it lines up with the die cut that's in the paper pumpkin kit. So that was one of the really cool things about this kit was that it coordinated with the products from the annual catalog. There we go and then in the paper pumpkin kit we had these perfectly sized dimensionals for this wheel, so I'm going to use that. I'm going to use it on the back side, not the front. Now I can either add another dimensional into the middle as well to hold it in, but if I leave it just like this, this wheel is actually going to spin. So I'm going to leave that on there 
for a little bit of a 3D interactive element that that ship wheel will actually spin. Alrighty, and I'm just gonna plop that in the middle there. And that is my card ready to go. So I've used the liner from the envelope and the stamps and this embellishment, the die cut from the paper pumpkin kit. I added some whisper white cardstock, some gold glimmer paper, the gold brad, and this little embellishment that spins on the front. So that is the card. Now, but wait, there's more. I was at the dollar store the other day and now, full disclosure, this was not the regular dollar store. This was what I kind of consider the bad dollar store. Um, it's, they just don't have kind of as good a stuff. It's not like a chain um, dollar store. I usually, it's kind of my last resort sometimes. But I was there the other day and I found these adorable little tins. And I had to get some because they matched so perfectly with these um, products. So what I decided to do was I decided I was going to make a little happy birthday tin to give somebody some candy or something in. So I'm just gonna decorate it. Again, this is just little bits from the paper pumpkin kit. I wanted to cover up this saying that says blue ocean for some reason. I'm not really sure if that means anything, if it's supposed to. I sometimes wonder if some of the stuff at dollar stores actually means something like about drugs. I don't know. I'm a bit naive when it comes to that stuff. So anyways, I decided to cover that up because I have my little happy birthday that I stamped when I did my put my card kit together. And I'm going to pop that dimensional on here again. Put, I love this little ship's wheel. I want like five million of them. <coughs> Those of you that know my parents know that they have a giant ship's wheel. It's their coffee table. It sat in the corner for years as just a plain old ship's wheel. And then when my dad retired, he decided to turn it into a coffee table. So it's really cool. But that's what these ship's wheels always remind me of, is my parents' living room. Because all when I was growing up, there was always a ship's wheel in the corner, and now it's their coffee table. So this one is going to get a second dimensional. Yeah, the round ones are handy, hey? Oh, there's dog hair everywhere. Alrighty. Oh, I need to take it back now for this one, too. And then I'm going to tuck that right on there. And then because we can, I'm going to add some sequins to this. I'm just going to add some of these light blue sequins. Bing, bing. Two. Get the dog hair off of the worst of it. And three. There we go. So we've got some sequins on there. Super cute little tin. Like I said, I just found it at a dollar store and um, you could put anything in there. So I was gonna put some candy in there and give that to a friend for their birthday. And there is the card I made. So if you haven't seen the previews, um, so we did just get shipped the August paper pumpkin kit, which is kind of the fall themed gift bags. So it's too late to get one of those, um, unless you happen to know somebody who got an extra one. But what you can get is you can get the September one, which is a Halloween theme. It's 20 um, food safe little treat containers. Um, the Halloween ones, they're always awesome. So I know I will be getting some extra of those. Um, but if you'd like to subscribe as well, there is a link on my website, thecraftymedic.com. You can also get some of the supplies I used here, not the paper pumpkin kit, but um, the little ship's wheel. The paper, this is actually very similar to some of the paper that's in the Sail Away With Me suite. Um, and I believe that the that suite has a die cut that makes a very similar ship's wheel as well. So all of that is on thecraftymedic.com. On the right hand side there, there is a shop now link and a host code that you can use there and you'll get some extra goodies from me when you use that. 
All right, happy stamping. Enjoy the heat, stay hydrated. Have fun, bye. Oh, and I'll see you on Saturday. I'll post a pre-recorded video. Or no, I just looked at that. On Saturday, I'm not working, so I will be live again, probably around three o'clock. Bye.